What's up everybody? Welcome back to Dude Long Couch's Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. Oh boy. So we're starting to get close to the end of this chapter. We still got a little bit of a ways to go, but we're making pretty good progress. And here's something to read because we always have to start a video that way. Letter from Ada. Once a Plaga egg hatches, it's nearly impossible to remove it from the body, but if it's done, or, sorry, but if it's before it hatches, then it can be neutralized by medication. If it does hatch, you might be able to get it out by surgery before it turns to an adult, but it won't be easy. There's a high chance you won't survive the operation. As far as I know, the girl was injected with the egg before you. Her time is ticking. You should prepare yourself for the worst case scenario. And she left us a little smooch on the paper. A little something to remember her by. That's so sweet. And also a little strange. Alright. My Magnum and my TMP are both empty. Hopefully there's an upgrade waiting for them. Did I already combine the crown? I did. Alright, so I can sell all that shit. Hi, Mr. Merchant Man. Welcome. I love this guy. He's always there for me. Some rare things on sale. What are you selling? Alrighty. I do wish I could buy ammo, but I kind of wish... Alright, I think that that would kind of ruin the balance of the game. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow, that sold for 48000 That's a crazy amount of money. So that's your reward for actually killing Verdugo instead of just running away what like a little buying? bitch. No capacity upgrade. That makes me sad. Is oh, well. that old? <laughs> Let's upgrade everything else. Is that all? <laughs> Even though I probably won't be using it anytime soon. Is that all, stranger? Bling the black tail firepower up to 2.7. I just said bling. <laughs> I don't know if that was like a Freudian slip because I'm spending all this money or what. That's weird. Definitely want to upgrade my striker. Firepower to 8. Up to capacity. There's a lot of capacity upgrades for that thing. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna keep holding off on the rifle. Woohoo! Capacity upgrade for TMP. Is that old strength? 200 free shots, <laughs> and there's still one more to go on it before I can get that exclusive upgrade. Come back, I don't know if I ever explained that in detail in my videos, so just in the event that you don't know, I'll tell you right now. When you finish upgrading a weapon, uh, the, like completely, when there's nothing left to buy, you will unlock what they call an exclusive upgrade. And it's, it's usually something that will really uh, make the weapon stand out. It's like, it's usually something that you can't get on any, on any other weapon, like some kind of attribute, or it's just like a crazy good stat, like a really fast reload speed or a really high uh, magazine or something like that. I can't believe these guys don't know I'm here. Well, they do now. Thank you. You gonna do the same thing? Yes, you are. What an idiot. Right, so like I was saying, every weapon has a different exclusive upgrade, and you can't obtain it until the, the rest of the upgrades are completely maxed out. Which, you don't start unlocking those until closer to the end of the game, and it's usually really expensive. Like, you saw as I was spending money in there, I still have a lot of upgrades to go on all my weapons, and I probably spent, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, but I probably spent like over $200,000, or at least close to that, just trying to get the rest of those upgrades. Now this part here, I always screw up. You want to come up and climb up over here, and then you just want to drop a frag grenade right down into the group of people here. And yeah, I missed like three of them. I think it is possible to get everybody if you're good. But I don't know exactly where to throw the grenade, and I always screw it up. So I just get as many as I can. And now I'll just jump down and fight everybody else. Because I don't feel like playing around. I didn't tell you to get up. Alright. Oh, I figured they'd be coming from the other side. Oh, that was close. How dare you try and hit me with an axe. 
God damn it. Well, that's a great start. Miss him like three times. Take a hatchet wound to the face. Yep. See, I'm falling back into that old pattern where I don't have time to record as often as I would like to. I really wish that I could punch out a new video like every day, but my work schedule just doesn't allow for it. Sad to say. So, I have to usually try to record in bulk and get like three or four videos done, and then I have to wait like five days before I can record again. And by then I'm out of practice, and I come back, and I just suck. And I'm making a lot of excuses right now for why I'm terrible at the game, but it is what it is. Did I loot everything in here? I can't believe that's everything already. You can almost always open these, these uh, cupboards that look like that. But I guess not in this case. So let's go around and look at the front door right quick. It's locked. Offer the sacrifice to the lion. Why didn't I just sacrifice one of those guys? I don't care about them. I'll sacrifice them all day long and not even give a shit. And there's nothing down there. So what we do is jump in here. There might be a snake in here. No. I never know where the damn snakes are. It's always a surprise. And we get to rotate this thing to open the door. That's so interactive. Alright. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you. This area here is probably one of my least favorite areas in the game. Not because it's hard or anything. Just because I just don't like it. I can't really explain it any better than that. I just... I think it's kind of boring. I don't like the layout and, like, the atmosphere and everything. I just find it really not fun. But the show must go on. We're not going to let that stop us from cruising forward. I'm just going to stand back here and snipe all these bastards because they don't care. They're oblivious. Oh, that guy saw me for a second. <laughs> but that was all he got. <laughs> Alright, so that's everyone I can see out here. God, I love this rifle. Uh-oh, you hear that? That's some shit. There's a chainsaw guy somewhere. Getting ready to come out and be an asshole. Oh, hi. I forgot you were down here. Two rifle shots, one plug is down. God, I love it. So you want to open this up and grab the Staff of Royalty, which is also what I call my penis. But in this case, it's just an item we can sell. Well, you could also consider my penis an item that I could sell. But, you know, that's a whole other story. I can hear footsteps. Somebody's coming at me from somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, though. Oh, I got to that just as it was disappearing. You gotta be careful in this spot, because clearly there's bear traps everywhere. And stepping in those is bad for your health. Oh, there's a dude over there. And you can also see in this part right here, Chainsaw Guy is up in that window, but he can't get down to you. He just stands there and runs against the wall like an idiot. So you can just stand down here and pot shot his ass over and over again. Which is exactly what I plan on doing, because... Why not? Yeah, nice try, bitch. Get out of my life. Yeah, he just keeps doing the same thing. Just completely retarded. Did I see... I thought I saw movement over there. It must have been a weird graphical thing. Alright. Let's collect that. Let's kill these bear traps. Now, I'm not going to waste a whole lot more rifle ammo on this guy because he literally cannot hurt me. I can just sit down here and shoot him with whatever I want. And I already did a decent amount of damage with all those headshots. If only I could aim worth a damn from down here. There we go. And he's done. 
Watch out for the bear traps, as always. I'm not going to bother hitting them all because I don't need to. And we want to run in here. But wait. There's more chainsaw guy action. I was ready for you, you son of a bitch. Now, I think there's going to be more guys behind me in a second. Yep. And I don't feel like dealing with them, so I'm going to run up here and grab this. Before it disappears. Because I want my 10,000 bucks for killing that dude. And I also want to clear off some of these grenades, because I have four flash grenades right now, which is good. And I have five incendiaries, which I definitely do not need. There's nobody in the world who needs five incendiary grenades. It's just excessive. Woo! They're throwing hatchets at me all day long, man. Did the chainsaw guy die? Yeah, he did. Okay, good. Let's use up some TMP ammo since I just refilled it and I have a lot of extra ammo for it. Okay. Of course, a Plagas comes out. Let's just use up a, fra a flash grenade. Because there's no reason not to. Reload that. Loot like a mother. Yellow herb. And of course, don't miss your other 10,000 from killing the other chainsaw guy. That would be a tragedy. Alright, let's police this up a little bit. I have a lot of random crap strewn about right now. Let's put you right there. That's good for now. And give me my black tail back. Whoops. Okay, I'm absolutely retarded. There we go. I'm not sure if I looted everything down here, so I'm just going to go double check. There might be like... Yeah, I thought there was like a box or a barrel or something that I might have missed. And I'm glad I didn't miss that. Because I love frag grenades more than anything else in life. Including... My family. Sorry. <laughs> That's not true. I love my family. I'm just trying to illustrate how much I love frag grenades. They're the best grenades. And we use the mine key that we just picked up. And we can move on. Ooh, thank you. So they're slowly starting to... Uh, give me... Like, more rifle ammo than they have in the past. Hey, look. It's another one of these rooms. I forgot this was this close. Oh, this one they wisen up a little. Apparently, you can't actually shoot them until you move in. Oh, that's right. That's because they're going to ambush me with these little spidery douchebags. Uh, let's move in and trigger it. So, have a flash grenade ready to go. Throw that shit down. And then shoot out the lights. And we're safe. Not too terribly difficult. Apparently that guy over there dropped more rifle ammo. And there's treasure here. Now there's a spot somewhere in one of these areas that has like a whole bunch of gold that doesn't look like it should have gold. I can't remember where it is. I guess it's not in here. Let's keep moving. I don't know what the hell this place is supposed to be. It's like a sinkhole or something and the ceiling's just constantly leaking. Which is kind of scary in itself. I wouldn't say I'm a claustrophobic, but I'm also not a huge fan of confined spaces. And being like underground in a cave or a cavern or something, that thought is always in the back of my head that something 
could happen and just bury you alive and you have no chance of survival or rescue. And you're probably just going to slowly suffocate or get crushed to death by the weight of the earth and there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know who wouldn't find that terrifying. Okay. Now, like with any good game, this one has a minecart sequence. So, hop in, shoot that thing, and here we go. With this part, you definitely want to stay in the back. And, uh... Holy shit! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm trying to concentrate on shooting these guys, and I'm doing horrible already. Alright, let's heal up. I was trying to be conservative and not waste all my shotgun ammo already, but the shotgun is so much easier in this section. Not only because it's easier to aim, but because you also knock all the things that they throw at you out of the air. Which is obviously very desirable. Bitch. And some of these idiots jump down in front of the cart and get run over so you don't have to deal with them. Which I appreciate them doing. This guy's gonna have a Plogus. I'm going to shoot it before it even has a chance to attack me. And you can either shoot those boards out of the way or you can do a QTE when you get right next to them, but it's safer to just shoot it rather than uh, risking screwing up the QTE. All right, let's try to conserve a little bit of my ammo. As you can see, there's another chainsaw douche. Oh, why didn't that do anything? That's bullshit. It made me waste a grenade. Not that I care terribly much about flame grenades, but just that should have worked. Oh shit, I was hoping that uh, shooting him would knock him back down so he couldn't climb over. But it did not work that way. Why didn't... What the fuck? That was very strange. Okay, he's dead because I just got his cash. But that literally made no sense at all. I think the game glitched out. And I also think... You guys should stop throwing shit at me. That right there is why I fucking love the Blacktail. I don't know if y'all were paying attention to that. Oh shit! That was... I thought I shot her in the face. But I didn't. God damn it. Get away from me. Please die. You too. Yeah, so what I was trying to say is that the reload speed on the Blacktail is freaking insane. I'm pretty sure it's maxed out already. So... Whew. Uh, yeah. I was down to four shots, and I really wanted to reload before I engaged again. Check this shit out. Check how fast this is. Bam. Done. Ready to roll. 30 shots. Let's do it. But then you just have to be able to aim. Which, you know... I haven't really got that down yet. But goddamn, that's awesome. Alright, which way are we going here? Going right, apparently. And here's more dudes. I wanted to try and shoot them before the cart got there so they'd get run over. I think it only worked on one of them. Or maybe two. Okay, I was trying to shoot it, but I failed, so I did the QTE anyway. <laughs> Guys, I never thought about this before I started recording for YouTube, but it's it's honestly really hard to play and record at the same time. And I hear a lot of other LPers complaining about uh, like people in their comments, like talking shit on them and talking about how like ah oh, you miss this, you miss that. I can't believe how bad you are and blah blah blah. And I always just thought that those people were being douchebags, but they're honestly right. 
Like people who don't record really have no comprehension of how difficult it can be to play with any semblance of skill and also provide entertaining commentary at the same time. Now I know the jury's still out on whether my commentary is actually entertaining or not. You know, you can say what you want, but I'm just saying, even providing anything at all is really difficult. Alright, this is kind of weird. It's hard to aim at these guys with all that shit going on. And now we're at the end. That was a pretty badass jump from Leon, not gonna lie. That's why he's a pimp. Alright, so that part's over. Let's reload all my stuff. I went through a lot of ammo in that section. I don't have a whole lot of pistol and shotgun rounds left. This is the part I was thinking of. Walk over here. No? Is it on this side? Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so you stand here and you just keep mashing the button. And you get a shitload of pesetas. I have no idea if that was put there intentionally. You kind of think it was, because that dude's bones are there. Like, it's like the bones of a lost adventurer who died before he could escape with his treasure. Or some shit like that. But it's just so weird. It's weird that it makes you pick it up at, at like one or two hundred at a time and you just keep mashing the button until you finally get it all. It almost seems like it's like a glitch. Like it's something that was left over that they wanted to take out and they just screwed it up or something. Who the hell knows, man? This game's crazy. Alright, let's offer the sacrifice. And now let's GTFO. And that's the end of the chapter. Short, sweet, not overly difficult, not terribly entertaining either. I'll, I'll admit it. So that's the end of chapter 4-3. Hit ratio, back below 80. Man, I suck. But at least I didn't die at all that time, so I'm going to call that a win. So anyways, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you had fun. Check me out at grownersgamers.com, and I'll see you all next time.